love you, baby, do you love me too? I told her, I can't love you, girl, I'm on YouTube. Ooh, like that was awful. Yo, it's your boy Jamal Abiyade, and welcome back for another YouTube video. Yes, another YouTube video. Today, we're getting back into my favorite topic, sampling. It's been over probably, what, a year to I dropped a full sampling tutorial, so let me drop a another one but look you guys before you check out the video make sure you like comment and subscribe actually like this video right now and subscribe it makes me go higher in the search engine for sure and make sure you go check out my latest music video body to body it's a car wash video that's crazy but look you guys enough of all that let's get into this sample video but this time around i'm gonna show you guys a must use sample trick i haven't showed this on my channel yet so stay around for this sample trick all right please you want to see this one all right, you guys, so I have this song called um, When You Cry by SWV. So think about when you're making a sample, you want to find the parts of the song that you can loop. So that's what my first thing I want to do. What parts of the song can I loop? Can I loop and chop up? So first thing I want to do is listen to the song really quickly. I'm looking for multiple parts. Just don't look at one loop. Look for two or three loops so you can, you know, interchange them throughout the song. So let's go into it. I skip around the song a little bit because for copyright reasons, I can't just play it straight out. So here we go. Oh, this is gonna be good. So the first thing we have to do now is to make a loop, you guys. That's the first thing we need to loop. So I'm gonna loop this first part right here, just as soon as the song starts. That part, I'm gonna loop that four bar part. So first thing I do is turn on flex time. If you ever did any sampling before, this is probably gonna be a little more um, intermediate than beginner. So I have another video right here. Boom, go check this out. That's a little slower how to sample. So this one we're gonna go a little faster and so we can get to the good stuff about sampling. First you gotta do is put in the flex time. This little DNA right here is flex time. What flex times allows you to do is stretch audio. So if an audio is eight bars, I can um, stretch it and make it four bars. It'll stretch and bend audio without ruining it. So let's put flex time on, boom. And now we have flex time on over there. You have to put flex time on over here. And flex time is just this little DNA button. Turn that on. Analyzing transients. So transients, when you see it, is those white lines. Those are the transients. Boom, 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 boom. Those are the best parts where Logic thinks the best part to cut your song. So what we're going to do is go over here. You see this drop down menu is polyphonic. We're going to go down to slicing. Slicing has allowed us to actually make a mark on these white marks. Boom. And those marks are called markers. So we want to make a marker where we want the sample to start and we want to make a mark, mark where we want the sample to finish because that's going to be our loop. We want to start marker and finish marker and we want it to loop it so it goes in an infinite circle. So we want to obviously start it on the first note where it's right here. So I think I want to stop it right there. So that's a long loop. It's an eight bar loop. It's a long loop. But that's why I want to start it. So start is at the start of the song. So I didn't have to put a start because it's at the start of the song. And this is where my finish is. So we want to start right here. And we want the end of the sample to be right here. Boom. Well, I like this. So I'm still making markers because these all sound good. So I'm going to start right here. Finish right here. Ooh, this sounds good, you guys. This sounds good. So, as you can see, I made three markers. So, I actually put four. If you count the front, one, two, three, four. So, what I'm going to do is go to option, click up here, uh, slice at flex markers. Flex markers are the markers I set. So, let's try the second one first, right? So, I'm going to pull it down here. Boom, let's single it out. Pull it down here. Look at this. So we want to loop that around so it's a perfect circle. So I wanted to make it a four bar loop, all right? So the good thing about what you need flex time for is when you come over here, you see these brackets and these two sound waves, you click it, you can pull them. Boom, you can pull them back and forth. So I can make these right here and make it four bars. Now, if it's a perfect loop and I put my starting marker and my end marker at the part, right point, it should loop perfectly. So let's hear it now. <laughs> Okay, it's, that's a perfect loop. So you see, it's a perfect loop. But some people are saying, why is it so fast? If I do Command Z, this was uh, almost eight bars worth of information. And we're squeezing eight bars into four bars. So obviously, it's going to be faster. Because if we put, you know, you, you're putting more information into less space. So obviously, it's going to be faster. Now, the sweet thing about that, let's say we want to hit this drop down menu and do speed. Speed makes the, the pitch match the tempo it's going. So if you do this, it goes. <laughs> For all my beginners, 
I might went too fast. So go back to the other videos to show you a little slower how to do it. But that's how you make a perfect loop really quickly using flex time. Now let's go get to an advanced stuff of how to sample. Okay. So as you see, I have these other parts. So what I'm going to do is scrunch these all down to make it eight bars, right? Boom. I mean, four bars, excuse me. Crunch these all down and make it four bars. Boom. These are our four samples we picked to choose, all right? They all should be perfect loops. I'm actually going to look through the songs to see if we can find some more parts because I like a lot of parts to play with and make the sample more unique and have switch up. So let's let's look through the song and see if there's more parts. Okay, you guys, so I just cut a couple more parts up. Let me go through all the parts so you guys see what we have. So this is my first my sample I have. The lead. This is like our lead bass line. We're probably going to be everywhere in the song. Next, we have this one. All right, that's Lee, When You Cry. When I went around the song to get some more stuff, I got some things like some runs and stuff, like some breakdowns. So I got like something like this. And let's get to this one right here. What's this one? And I call that final breakdown. All right, so we have all our parts. We have the lead, lead when you cry, I'll just die, beat drop, breakdown, the final breakdown. So first we want to do, let's go to the breakdown. Let's get to a speed we want to be because obviously it's too fast. So the good thing about flex time, when it's, when your project's in flex time, you can change the BPM and they just, and the audio files automatically change with it. So. All right, so this is how you get to manipulate your sample, sample in the right way. So these are some of my tricks I use. So I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to go to my AU pitch. This is how you change the pitch manually and you don't have to use speed to change the, the pitch of it. So. Before I do that, I'm going to mute this audio pitch because I want to see which ones these match good together. So, And now let's, let's mess with this EQ. Let's take some of these drums out. So let's do this. So tip one, how to make your sample stand out. Stack your samples, you guys. Stack your samples and play with the EQ so they're not clashing. So I hear a lot of snaps and stuff. Let's turn the pitch up again. And all the pitches have to be the same so they can match, you know. So I'm working so fast. I'm not talking to you guys. So if you guys see what I did, so I like these together, but the EQs have to match. So I put one of the EQs more the the baseline one. I put that one more down here, and I put the um the higher one. I cut out the lows. So the so the low one I cut out the highs, and the high one I cut out the lows. So this is so they less they clash less. You know what I mean? So this is just so they clash less. So the first one is sitting more over here. And the second one is sitting more to the right on the high. So this is just make it so it clash less. So if you put the, the, them together, you're like, why is my um, why is my samples not sounding so good later on top of each other? It's because your EQs probably aren't right. So just think of that. Just think about it. Don't let your EQs clash. If if one's a high pitch, take your lows out and leave the highs in there. If one's a low kind of sample you like, the lows parts of it, take the highs out and leave the lows in there so they can sit together. Okay. <laughs> I like that breakdown, but I feel like it's sitting there. It's like they're clashing a little bit so more. So sometimes what I do is I make them different pitches. So I make one go to octave up. So I like this low one. So what I can do is I can do two things. Well, I can do two things. I can make one low and one high or bring one to the lower octave. So what I'm thinking is this breakdown is already kind of high. Let me see how it will sound if it's a little higher. So just let you know when you use it with sense. 1200 cents is an octave higher so if we're at if this one's at 312 let me put this up if my top one's at 312 my breakdown needs to be 1200 higher than this this sense so it needs to be 1512 okay so it's in the same octave it's playing the same notes just an octave higher so it'll still match so look <laughs> But now it's too high. It sounds like it sounds like uh, chipmunks, you know. So let's go back to 312. Let's try this lower. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Let's try this lower. If it's lower, what's um, it'll be 
312 minus 1200 it will be negative 888 all right so let's go over here negative 888 and make the top one low let's see how it sounds <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Might have found something. Wait a second. I can work with this. Okay, I can work with it. So I might have to change the EQs up a little bit to make it hit harder. So. Woo! Woo right, let, me, let me change the EQs a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna, this needs this EQ needs a little more bass now. Yeah. Two things about sampling, take your sample to the next level. One thing is stacking them. Obviously stack them, see what works. Mess with the EQ so the stacks don't clash. Next thing is to mess with the, man, mess with the pitch, man. Lower some of your pitches, higher some of your pitches. All right, so guys, I just moved everything around. So a lot of this is like a puzzle, you guys. You gotta find some parts, uh, put some high, put some low, mess with some EQs. It's a puzzle, it's really a puzzle. So this is where I'm gonna start out for my sample. So this is what all, all, all the puzzle putting together. This is what I have so far. So it's as you hear, I got the, I got the low part, my low main. So, so this can be the beat. I can let this ride. I can let this ride. Actually, I actually am. I'm gonna mute this. Then I'm gonna bring the breakdown in right here. One, two. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna bring that in. Little breakdown. Yeah, see? It's the hook. It's the hook right here. This is the hook part of the sample. Sample. This was something I'll put on like a sample kit or something. This is my sample. I don't have any reverb on it yet and that kind of thing. But this is my basic of how sampling. So next thing I'll do, I'll put drums around it before I keep on going. So Let's put this hi hat on it. All right, let's stop playing. Let's get this kick in. Let's get this kick in, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get some perks in here. Let's get some perks. Let's throw a quick little 808 in there real quick. Uh, 808. For this sample, this is pretty much what I want. Um, what I do do to my, in my samples, I, I add some RC20. Boom. Um, this is without the RC20. So it makes it a little bigger. All right, um, did all that. RC20, RC20. I had wider. Wider is a stereo thing that makes it wider. That's it what it sounds like. So I do water wider on my high vocals. That's the only thing you guys did not see was the wider and the RC20. Let's go over what I taught you guys. So first thing you want to do is chop a lot of parts for your samples. Make a lot of different loops. Then you want to stack them. Stack them is key to taking your loops to the next level. And stacking them, what is key is messing with the EQ so they don't clash. Make one of the one of the EQs high and make one of those EQs in the lows so they don't clash with each other. Um, next thing you can do is mess with the pitch. Make one of the uh, samples low pitches high or make one lower, make one higher. You can just mess with the pitch however you want to do it. Um, the sense is 1,200 difference. So let's listen to this all together. Let's get into it. Listen to this all together. Tell me if I need to put it out. I, I could finish this beat and put it out on my beat page so you guys can go purchase it. So let me know what you guys need from me. All right, let me know, please. Here we go. Yo, who can y'all hear rapping on this? I kind of hear like P's here. Larry June. Look, baby, I'm getting money. You think you bummy? me? I'm in some your boyfriend bummy. me. He ain't got no money. Ooh. Hey, he ain't got no money. Ooh. I love you, baby. Do you love me too? I told her, I can't love you, girl. I'm on YouTube. Ooh, like that was awful. Here we go, acapella. Here we go, I said. Come on. One, two, bring it in like that. Look, you guys.
thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something before you guys go make sure you um go go to my page check out some music videos i have some dope music videos i just dropped body to body is out now it's crazy um pretty girls love samples volume one is out right now it's crazy and i'll see you next week same time with another youtube video all right cheer